Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder EX here, back with another episode of this ridiculous... <laughs> I really don't know why I keep doing it. I thought this was going to be a fun series, and it, it was, you know, the first episode was pretty well received. So, I, I just, I have the urge to keep doing this, I don't know why. But I, I did this, I'm going to see this through to the end of this giant two pound bag of marshmallows. So welcome back to Serial Killer, where I take marshmallows and add them to cereals that don't have marshmallows. Because, like I said, for, as a kid, you know, marshmallow cereals were everywhere. One of my favorite ones was the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cereal that had little marshmallows. And it was like Chex, but with marshmallows. And it always got me thinking, why, like, marshmallows and everything. And then, you know, we realized we didn't need to keep pumping kids full of, uh, full of sugar, like, like these things. So, what I'm going to do is I have a little bowl of teeny tiny marshmallows, and today I have a bowl of cereal, and this cereal, I was disappointed that this didn't came, the, the package is a little pouch and not little boxes, because I bought a little variety pack. Today, we are going to be eating tricks. They are for kids, um, which is entertaining, and this, this package of Twix, I swear, it's all full of little teeny tiny pellets, when I remember it being, well, when I was a kid, Trix was actually, you know, the, it was shapes like the, the lime was kind of in the shape of a lime, same with the lemon, the grape was a little, actually little teeny tiny pellets like this, but in, you know, a pattern that looked kind of like a grapevine. So, the long running joke is, maybe Trix really are for kids, and because we're adults, we don't see them as the fruit shapes anymore. But now, I guess, you know, getting older, I see them as even smaller pellets that look rather silly. But, so we have our marshmallows, we're going to mix those in together, just, you know, make sure they get all nice and mixed up because you don't want an entire spoonful of marshmallow. And then we take my container of Lon Lon milk. I love that pop, I don't know why. <laughs> oh, And I'm going to have my breakfast. In fact, that's that's kind of how I'm I'm billing this is basically breakfast on camera, you know. Welcome to breakfast with Marauder X, except my breakfasts, in this case, seem um, like they should have me institutionalized. <laughs> I don't know why, but this is just silly. Let's uh, bottoms up. I forgot how fruity tricks were. This is this is very fruit tastic. That, that that fruit flavoring, except not really fruit flavoring. I just this, this is not bad. This is actually pretty good. Um, whoever makes tricks, I really should start looking these things up. I think it's General Mills. Uh, whoever. You should seriously consider adding marshmallows to your tricks. Because it's a totally worthwhile gimmick. I can speak from experience. The problem is with tricks is it always has this overpowering lemon taste because of the lemon peas. I guess it's just that they use a lot of citrus to, to flavor for the fruit flavoring. But, uh, This is definitely better than the last one. I uh, this one is one I can actually recommend. So, should you be hungry and have marshmallows and tricks, I I would actually recommend this. Not bad. At least with the super tiny pellets. I don't know if buying tricks out of a non, you know, individual size package, uh, would, uh, provide the, the large ones. I don't know if that's the case, because it could be like the, uh, the oops all berries and the, the larger, uh, cereal pieces take longer to, you know, lose their ridiculous crunch, so...
This is good. I I like this. I like this. I mean, it's basically tricks. I mean, I like tricks. So, it's like I used to like tricks. It's been forever since I've had tricks, and now that's the thing about this. I'm sitting here going, like, "What are these cereals that I haven't had since I was like five? Let's try those out. That sounds like a good idea, doesn't it?" Yeah. I highly recommend tricks with marshmallows. I got nothing bad to say about this. This I probably should have started with this. <laughs> it would have been a much much different series. So Alright. So Tricks with marshmallows, highly recommended. I, I strongly suggest you try it. It's nowhere near as bad as the Oopsell Bears. So uh, thank you for watching me eat cereal for a couple of minutes. <laughs> I just Oh, this cracks me up. And if you can't laugh at yourself, you can't laugh at So, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have a cereal, like, I have a whole box of these little individual packets of things. But if there's a cereal you want to see me try to do, uh, comment on it. And I'll, I'll see if I can track it down. Uh, as long as it's still being made and not, like, I'm buying, like, a 20-year-old box of cereal and eating. No, I'm not eating 20-year-old cereal. It's not happening. So, um, yeah, let me know if there's a cereal you want to see me add marshmallows to and decide whether or not that was a good idea live so i will catch you guys for our next installment till then later everyone